So let's take a look at what we can do with SharePoint Designer and see what it is. If you're on any SharePoint site, you can go to your page context menu up at the top, click on the edit menu, the down arrow right below it, and you'll get an option if you have the correct permissions to edit the site in SharePoint Designer. So let's see what happens when I click that. Now, something to remember is that if you haven't installed SharePoint Designer, you'll be redirected to the Microsoft site to download it and install it. So SharePoint Designer, once you choose to edit the site in SharePoint Designer, it'll actually launch the designer and take you straight to the page that you're editing. Don't worry about this. If you're good with code, you can look into it. But this is just this is the code side of the SharePoint page that you were on. And you can just close it out right over here. So what you want to remember with SharePoint Designer is it's just like any other Office program. You have a ribbon at the top, some context menus, and then you have a navigation pane to the left, similar to uh, Exchange. Uh, I'm sorry, Outlook. Um, to Word, if you have you you know you would have your ribbon at the top, and then you would have your uh, maybe a document recovery, or if you have some headings and, and it's a linked. There's links in the document. You'd see those over here. So this helps you navigate around. And then the top ribbon lets you do actions directly related to the tab that you're on, just like SharePoint. So Office or Microsoft has done a pretty good job of bringing all those features in the way that, that all of those um, areas of the Office program work together and kind of made them consistent throughout the Office suite. So... If I use my navigation, I can go to the home page. I can um, you get information over here. So like if this was my uh, Outlook, I'd have my folders over here and then the content that was in those folders would appear here. Maybe we'd have my messages listed and then a preview pane. But so the content is going to be in the middle. So you can edit the top level site and you can go to the title. We can add a description, Biff site and Basically, this lets you do all kinds of things related to the tab that you're on over here. So if I wanted to create a new list or library, I'd click on the lists and libraries link. And then I could come over here and then you see the ribbon at the top changes to lists and libraries. So all of these actions here are directly related and revolve around what I can do in this tab. If I go to the workflow tab, you'll see my ribbon up top will change. It'll go to the workflow tab, and then I can create a workflow. I can import from Visio. Site pages is the same way. I can add a new page, web part page. This is a different layouts that you can use for that. So the important thing to remember is that your navigation in any Office program is usually on the left, the far left side. And a ribbon will be at the top of the page that has actions and commands that are directly related to the navigation item that you're on. So SharePoint Designer is pretty powerful. It lets you browse through files. Uh, it lets you edit master pages and make the change the way that the site looks. You can connect to outside data sources, which is what I'm on here. And you'll see the ribbon changes at the top. Um, workflows, something we'll, we'll talk about later on in the course. I can go in and create a new list workflow, a reusable workflow, or a site workflow. Um, so that's, that's all this is. It sounds complicated when you hear SharePoint Designer, but it's really just another Office program that lets you do specific things and more in-depth uh, operations on SharePoint. So that's really all there is to it. So you'll see us work in SharePoint Designer a little bit more later on in the course whenever we work in, with workflows and when we create a simple workflow. But other than that, that's all there is to it. Don't be intimidated and have a good one.